Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Weston John Boucher. I'm about to share my secret for age prevention when it comes to your skin. So let's go try some Brotox together. Alright guys, so as I said, you're going to be joining me as I go to iThrive MD here in La Jolla in the county of San Diego as you are going to get answers to a lot of the mystique around Botox and whether or not guys should do it to begin with and why it's called Brotox. So they're going to be able to help talk through with me on the fly answers to those hard questions like how much does it cost? How long does it last? why would I do it in the first place, as well as how often you may need it if you decide to do so. All right, but before we go, check out the outfit I'm wearing. You might notice that these are the new Ultra Soft Tapered Fit Denim Jeans that I just released. Already getting feedback and it's awesome to hear that you love them just as much as I do as they've been over a year and a half in development. They're stretchy, again, they're crazy soft, and they have a tapered fit. Now, I just went to the tailor and had them uh, custom hemmed, which I do with all my premium denim. I suggest you do that too, but please do use code YouTube15 at checkout as my gift to you. Um, you're gonna love these and they're gonna pair well with every piece in the collection, including the bird's eye Henley that I'm wearing right now in the color parchment. So make sure you check that out before you go. And as always, subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I know not everyone's always on board with things like Botox, and I totally respect that, but you have to start to think about the perceptions and how much information you have, because that's where I used to be before I decided to do this. I was just kind of on the fence about it a little bit more, not totally committed to it, but the idea is prevention early on, okay? And it doesn't mean it's feminine to get Botox you do a certain amount that you're comfortable with, and it doesn't mean you're gonna have this plastic, expressionless uh, result. It's gonna still be really natural. It's just slowing down that aged look, you know, that's gonna happen naturally anyways. I do think guys should have a little bit of wrinkles as they age, age appropriate. I'm gonna be 43 in September, so I think that I'll be able to find a sweet spot, and you guys will be able to see before and after pictures as well to prove it. Hey guys, so I am here at iThrive MD and I'm about to do some Brotox. So follow me on this little appointment and we'll get all your questions answered real quick. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Thank you. 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 <laughs> I'm not that vain. Sometimes. Finger face for me. The areas you want to focus on today are going to be the forehead, right? In between the eyebrows. Yeah, forehead in between eyebrows, and then kind of the creepy part of when I when I smile like that. Okay. Let's see so. with your eyebrows raised. Okay. Now crow's feet. No, no, crit, smile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so those wrinkles there, and then frown. Yeah. I've, make an angry face. Frown. I've, I've let okay. it go too long, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and you said about two years, right? I, I think so. So yeah, guys, I did get uh, Botox per my fiance Katie recommending I try it, and I just didn't stay on top of it. I just wasn't that interested. I play a lot of beach volleyball. Fast forward a few years or, or uh, two years, and it's a significant amount that I could have probably prevented. So. And are you wearing sunblock? Yeah, sunblock I'm. Well? I'm pretty good about it, but it's just the amount of sun exposure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So that's what I tell my patients too: is that you know, Botox is hard to commit to because it's actually every three to six months you should be coming in here. Okay. Ideally, I mean, you're pretty active, so it's probably mm -hmm. lasting three to four. Um, right, and it's hard to get in here, but uh, what I tell my patients is to think of it as part of your skincare routine. You know, yeah, we do that's... moisturize, we serum, we exfoliate, we SPF, we Botox. That's kind of what I say. Just help everyone cool get back. Look at it. I like that motto. So we're going to start by marking, and this helps me kind of relax. So about 60 units today. 
that's typical. That's typical for a man. So I'm gonna be 43 in September, so. Okay. I'm like, I don't know if that kind of you've noticed it's like people that in this age group usually need this much. <laughs> right. So it's most it's more so going to be um, the strength of the muscle. So oh, okay. yeah. So like Botox, think about it as actually like a medication, right? Yeah. So we're kind of dosing the muscle. And um, the way that, that we get the best results is kind of giving the correct dose for the strength of that muscle. I see. Yeah. Um, do you have okay. any questions as to how Botox works? Are you kind of familiar with that? Um, a little bit. It seems, no, I, I don't think I could explain it if someone asked me. <laughs> yeah. so. so Botox is ejected into the muscle. What it does, it's gonna weaken it, right? From us making those aggressive movements. So aggressively. So like in the yeah. forehead, between the eyebrows, or here around the eyes. Um, and over time, it's um, it'll help kind of soften those lines over time. So right. when we mentioned earlier, why should we be on top of it? Why should we keep doing it? It's because if we let it go too far, then um, then we're backtracking. Yeah. yeah. So like the analogy I like to give to you is kind of like when we've been folding paper, so long and going over it, going over it, it's yeah. going to take a while, even if we put a paperweight on that to smooth out that line. Right. So if we catch it sooner and start Botoxing a little bit sooner in the game, mm -hmm. then it'll help prevent that line from kind of being embedded. And that's what we call a static line in the skin. So the, the aggressive muscles just over and over and over, just folding that skin is kind of what we're- Correct, kind correct. Of just taming it down, we're dialing it back. We're right. Freezing right. it. Not yeah. freezing it, I mean, mm -hmm. freezing is just a common word a lot of people like to use for Botox, and it kind of gives it a bad wrap a little bit. Yeah. I like to use it with like softening. Yeah. But it sounds see, better than frozen, right? <laughs> yeah, for so, sure. So yeah, so we have a little bit of lines here. Um, and I mean, it, a lot of it comes into play. It could be, you know, genetic. It could be mm -hmm. all the days in the sun. It could be, you know, I have some patients that are like, I've had this since I was like baby. You oh, know? Wow. Well, in that case, it's going to take a little bit, a lot more time, right? Sure. Kind of soften it. But um, I mean, I have, you know, young people coming in too. It's preventative. So. Right, like Katie, you know, for example. Right, her skin right. looks amazing. She's got right. like no wrinkles. Right, so I mean. But her, she's very, her expressions are still really strong. I haven't <laughs> noticed any difference in that regard. So. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, that's what you want. You still want to look like yourself. We're just yeah. kind, of, kind of aging a little bit more gracefully, kind of mm -hmm. softening lines as we can. Um, and that's kind of the whole, that's kind of my whole vibe with Botox yeah. and filler and all that fun I'm stuff. Yeah, get on board with that. Yeah, yeah. So it's about preventing the wrinkles from forming, right? Right, right. Or slowing so them. Slowing them, correct, correct. So if you're coming in a little bit sooner and you know that like my mom or dad has these crazy 11s right here and I see them forming, like we can start a little bit sooner and right. we can prevent those from becoming worse in the future. Yeah. And guys, I know that like wrinkles aren't necessarily always perceived as a bad thing, you know, like it's masculine in my opinion, like guys that look distinguished, they have some wrinkles, you know, like I'm going for something that's still age appropriate, like I'm not trying to transform my face or look like super crazy young, I'm just again trying to soften and um, you know, I don't need to fast track to looking super, super old. Like I think I can do it in a gradual way, like she's saying with a little bit of preventative stuff. All right, so we're gonna start here. Are you ready? Mm -hmm, let's do it. Okay, it. I'm having you raise your eyebrows for me and the looks. How's that? Good, it doesn't hurt at all. Perfect. So anytime you take a needle anywhere to the body, there's always a risk of bruising, okay? Anyways. Okay. So if you do bruise, it should go away in a day or two, that's normal. Yeah. Okay. And of how often you need to be coming back. Um, so Botox should be lasting anywhere between three to six months. And you should be seeing results in about three to seven days. Okay? okay. So kind of like a medicine, right? So as you're taking the medication, you have to wait for the dose to fully absorb. Mm -hmm. um, it'll take about two weeks for it to settle fully into the muscle. So if it starts looking weird and then like uneven, give it two full weeks. Okay. Okay. Raise your eyebrows for me in the eyes. And what should maybe a guy expect to spend if he's kind of doing it conservatively uh, for preventative? So. It really just depends, like I said earlier, on kind of the strength of your muscle. So everyone's right. going to be different. So, you know, what someone's getting um, may not be the same dose as what another person is going to get. So anywhere between, I mean... Like low end to high end, maybe. As far as units for this area? And cost. 
this cost maybe? I think mean, probably guys are just super curious, like, well, all right, maybe I want to do it, but how much is it going to run me, you know? Right, so this area, I mean, we're talking about San Diego area, right? We're looking at about 11 to $14 a unit for Botox, and that's standard, because we did a lot of research here. Mm -hmm. um, and for you today, um, we're doing about 60 units. Mm -hmm. So uh, guys are different because their muscles are pretty strong. So you're looking yeah. at anywhere between 60 to 80 units if you're doing forehead between your eyebrows and a man. Sure. So it's kind of a nice little guideline. And we're just running in So babe, if we do the math, where It'll are we be going? around $600, six to $800 per, per, per session. session. Yeah. That's average. And I know it sounds pricey, but like I always, like I was mentioning earlier, it's you know your skincare because it really does something for the skin it helps you know everything look really nice and smooth and photos yeah i mean i'm on camera a lot so it's it kind is. of like maybe more justified for someone like me but right. um i'm sure there's other people with their own reasons but i would imagine right. as you get if if you're watching this video now and you fast forward 10 years and you go man i think i would have been willing to pay that now that i see how right. old right <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things where once you experience the results, you become obsessed and you're like, yeah, I definitely want to do this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I see how much I've aged in my skin. Just the last three years has been drastic. Really? And a lot of sun exposure too is part yeah. of that, but not entirely. Just something about, you know, 39, maybe to 43. Yeah. I just noticed my skin. Or mostly not hold up as much. I don't know why. Just all over, or like specific areas of your face. Um, pretty much where we're doing the injections. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does stress play a factor? Or? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean, yeah, stress, water intake, what we're mm -hmm. eating, um, genetics, so many things. It's not just one thing. Sure. But also, I know it's not common for men to do it, but well. As far as Botox too, but um, medical grade facials are huge. Mm. You know, if you start something like microneedling facials, chemical pills, those really, really will help um, the integrity of your skin. Just to kind of keep it nice and strong and healthy. So that's something to consider, guys. If you don't want to do something like Botox, you know, there are other things that will really improve yeah. your skin's appearance. Yeah. yeah. But Botox is really good for getting rid of wrinkles. It really is. Maybe. We'll show you guys the after photos as well when he's all healed. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a lot of pokes. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm it's good okay to cry. <laughs> <laughs> now you're good with needles. He used to be so bad That's with needles. I You'd start be having surprised. blood draws way more often. Uh, to check hormone levels, and yeah, I yeah, just yeah. got really used to that. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's usually I, the only time I get really weirded out about it is when <laughs> Sorry. I, they're taking a lot of blood from me. It's yeah, like, that's the know, part where I can't. I'm I cannot look. look. Yeah, oh my god, I'm draining my life force. I know. <laughs> Flatter than the other side. Oh wow. So yeah, yeah, a lot of patients don't even know that. Like yeah. you'll lose volume in one yeah, half correct. of your face yeah, more from sleeping like on the other bone, side. right? Can mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of bizarre. Yeah. It's like, such a small smile. Really? You gotta do a big smile. Oh, I'm just trying to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you wanna over exaggerate so she can see. Okay. Perfect. And, and, and then she laughs. <laughs> We're like the worst with each other. <laughs> each other so much. Yeah, that's awesome. He's like she's like big smile. He's like <laughs> just nothing. It's been a hard week. Right? Up. It's only Tuesday. I know. I'm, I saying, know. I'm like, God, I wish it was over. I feel that though. Same. This is the best part so far. Okay, well, makes me feel good. <laughs> Perfect. This is kind of where a lot of people get a little bit like bummed because 24 hours, no high intensity exercising, okay? That includes heavy lifting. Right? All right. Yeah, no worries. No saunas, no jacuzzis, nothing that's going to raise your blood pressure or make you sweat. Okay. And the reason is because, like we mentioned, Botox is a medicine, right? So it's inject, it's absorbing into the muscle. Mm -hmm. 
um, if you're working out, getting your heart rate up, you're constricting your muscles and pushing out the and stuff. Yeah. yeah, so it's not going to be able to fully absorb and then you're oh, yourself a disservice. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. So you want to get, you know, obviously the most bang for your buck and the best results, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's a huge part of it. Um, no pressure to the area the rest of the day, so I wouldn't go like get a table massage for 24 hours mm -hmm. or put a hat on um, because you want it to absorb into the area that we're injecting it into. Okay, so, makes okay, sense. You don't want to push into muscle groups it shouldn't be in. Um, and I think that's really about it as far as after goes. Cool. Do you have any questions? No, thank you. Perfect. Very nice to meet you. Stay yeah, posted for the results. Yeah, yeah it's going to be good, guys. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm exactly two weeks out from when I got the Brotox done. Uh, you can clearly see that it smoothed out my forehead a lot. Now, when I raise my eyebrows, I still have a couple sets of wrinkles right there which I have a pretty pronounced brow, so I don't know how much I can do about that, but I would think that if I went back and I were to do another round that I would try to uh, get those two spots dialed in and try it out. Like I mentioned during the actual process, you probably do this twice a year, so it's gonna run you anywhere from probably 400 on the low end each time to 600 on the high end, depending on how much you need. And then you times that by two for the whole year and that kind of gives you your total if you want to go this route. Now, after having gone through it and be where I'm at right now, I'm not totally sold on it for the following reason. Like I feel the sensation of it, like the muscles being relaxed and I'm just not crazy about it. It just doesn't obviously have a fully natural feel. Now, Katie's had um, Botox before and she likes it. It doesn't bother her at all. She actually likes that tightness feeling. Um, you can see I could still like have expressions. It's not like I, I don't have any expression in my face, but I wanted to go through this to see what it was like and let you guys know my honest feedback. Will I do Botox again? I'm on the fence. I might do it um, <laughs> depending on you know, six months from now when I look in the mirror and all those wrinkles are back all through here I and mean, they're just super heavy. I mean, obviously like it made me look a lot more fresh faced and younger. There's, there's no question. Or maybe I would do it and go lighter. Like I just would have her put in less. Yeah, I don't know. See, see what you guys think for yourself, you know, do make sure you're just kind of real about it and you don't do it way too prematurely and put a bunch of stuff into your face that's just not necessary, but it will obviously help to curb if you do it in advance. But I mean, if you're literally like 18 years old, like don't do it. <laughs> like I wouldn't recommend that. It's total over overkill. Okay guys, that wraps up today's video. Before you go, the best way to support my channel and everything I do is to try out my menswear line. I'm wearing my SS Raw Neck sweater. It's actually like an elevated tee. So it's 100% cotton and it is like your going out tee. It's very, very nice. It's obviously fitted. This is the stone color. It also comes in a dusk as well. And then I am wearing, as you know, my new ultra soft tapered fit denim jeans that just released. The reviews have been all five stars so far. So thank you guys. I'm so amped that you love them just as much as I do, but make sure you get them hemmed. They're, they're 32 length um, on like by when they ship, but they're on the longer side. So make sure you just get that custom fit based on where you want your brake on your boots or your shoes. I will see you guys next time and make sure you check out my Amazon shop as well before you go as that has all the products that I use, including everything I use for my hair for this video, my skincare, all that good stuff. Check it out. See you guys next time.